It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you look on the gigantic Sharp Interactive Board, you're going to see a spreadsheet. You see a magnifying glass, a pen, a calculator. The OEM numbers are hitting the street. I will be out of the studio. I head out tomorrow. I'm going down to Florida. Mom's 90th birthday. I'm looking forward to celebrating with Mom. Maybe I'll get Mom to share some of the stories that she shared with her children as the children were growing up. You know, because, you know, moms, they like to share wisdom. Any guardian of children likes to share wisdom. I mean, I was thinking of one thing she told me a long time ago. She said, hey, Ray, if you ever are so passionate about something that you want to challenge that, always do it yourself. In other words, the metaphor she used was, don't hide in the bushes and watch somebody else do what you should be doing. And I thought that is fantastic advice. And I took that to heart. And I spend my whole life making sure that if I want to challenge something, I'm the one that does the challenging. Just thought that was interesting. I can't wait to see you, Mom. But ladies and gentlemen, quarterly numbers are coming out soon from the OEMs. We're going to see some, some, some information displayed on Aries Capital's 10K. So stay tuned for that. And we all know that Aries Capital is the owner of Visual Edge IT. But I asked at the top, I said, how will the liars hide the reality of the numbers? How will the liars hide the reality of the numbers? And some folks might say, well, Ray, that's just a mean thing to say. We don't have any liars in our industry. Well, yeah, we do. We do have liars in our industry. If they know things are factual and they distort those facts, that's another way of lying, right? I mean, we got to share the reality, right? There is no alternative reality regarding numbers. Numbers don't lie. They're unemotional. Numbers are what they are. And I wish our industry was able to talk about the numbers more, then maybe the numbers wouldn't be so bad in some of the cases. So ladies and gentlemen, I got to ask some questions as I'm digging through all this stuff. And I think the industry, you know, wants the answers to a lot of this stuff, right? Like who joins with Toshiba and Rico? When's, when's Toshiba and Rico the joint venture? When are they going to get somebody else in there from a manufacturing perspective? Well, Rico's out of control acquisition strategy deliver losses or gains. I've talked about this numerous times, but we see that, you know, Rico barely gets operating profit at all. I mean, and, and they're out there in Europe just buying up, buying up, buying up, buying up. And I think they're buying up a whole bunch of stuff that they're going to take an impairment charge on soon. Is Konica getting ready to clean house? We know that Konica will end their third quarter. They're in their fourth quarter right now. And folks, I'm thinking when April shows up, I don't know if we'll be able to recognize Konica, at least the people that work there. I mean, there's got to be some changes, right? I mean, we'd all be naive to think there wasn't going to be any changes at Konica. Regarding Konica, you know, I did notice that they're doing a joint venture with a Vietnamese software company, and, and they want to develop better software for the MFPs. And I'm reading this, and I'm, you know, I just think it's funny. I mean, it's not funny. It's almost sad. But we have got a lot of really cool software. We do. I mean, I think about some of the DCA technologies that are out there. The industry has a lot of really, really cool software. But if we're still going to develop software to help build relationships up with MFPs, I think we're naive as an industry. The problem with all this fancy software is it came too late. I mean, if this stuff was around in the early 2000s, it would be, whoa, can you believe what this DCA can do? Wow, can you believe... Can you believe this scan feature? This is unbelievable. But ladies and gentlemen, we know for a fact that more information is consumed behind glass than ever before. And every day, more and more of that information is what? Consumed behind glass. So I just think it's kind of weird when I see all this, all this talk about how we want to, you know, develop software so we can have better relationships with MFPs. We got to be really careful with that thinking. Because we might develop the best software in the world, but at the end of the day, if the end users don't use it, it just turned out to be a big waste of time. What will Visual Edge leaders post to distract from their reality? And I'm saying this, that's kind of a, you know, it's, well, people don't like the way I'd probably ask that question, but what the hell, ladies and gentlemen? You know, Visual Edge has not accepted any of the realities of their company. You know, they, they've had the loan they didn't have to pay for a year. Their, their BDC lender wipes off millions and millions and tens of millions of dollars and they act like there's no big deal. Let's have a party. We're killing it. We're having home runs. And then you have all these, you know, analysts out in the marketplace, you know, prod them on. Fantastic visual edge. You guys are killing it. No, they're not killing it. But we can't be honest as an industry. It's pretty upsetting. How many more AI experts emerge? I had to throw that in there because I'm thinking... As the OEMs start to, you know, constrict a little bit, as, as we start to see more human capital, 
out of the marketplace because they're going to have to make some decisions around human capital. Parts and people, most expensive cost of any company, right? So we're going to reduce parts and we're going to have to reduce people. It's just a reality. So how many of those will become AI experts? I think it's a great question for our industry. Does Zinc gain more momentum? It'll be interesting to see what the numbers look like over at Epson. We got our friends at Rizzo. We got Kyocera with their ink technology. We got the world talking about ink more than they ever did before. And so we're going to start seeing more momentum in ink. And as ink gains more momentum, how does that hurt the laser based business? Pay attention to that. How will Xerox numbers align with the reinvention? You know, Xerox out there with this big reinvention, how are their numbers going to align? As a matter of fact, you know, Xerox will be posting their year end numbers. So I'm looking forward to those numbers. You know, their new CEO, Steven, has been doing a great job delivering what he needs to deliver to the shareholders. But he'll, he'll, I believe, and I've said this before, that Xerox is going to struggle in delivering to shareholders while they try to deliver a reinvention to the marketplace. It's just, it's a tough thing to do. So we'll see how all that plays out. What will HP CEO say is a distraction to a financially collapsing business? Ladies and gentlemen, when I listen to the CEO, and I did a video on this, but, but this is crazy. I mean, you know, as soon as these numbers come out, you know, what, where's he going to go? He'll go on Kramer's show and he'll talk about how they're putting all this AI and PCs and try to get everybody to look over here instead of looking at the numbers. And I strongly suggest that what people do regarding HP and what people do regarding all of our friends in this business is look at the damn numbers because numbers don't lie, they're unemotional. And just because our industry doesn't want to dig deep into the numbers doesn't mean that what those numbers say is false. The good news for the industry is I'll dig deep, is dig, I'll dig as deep as my talents allow me to dig. And by the way, I want to make this offer out there to any OEM, any leader, anybody at Visual Edge, if you want to come on at the end of the day with Ray and share the numbers from your perspective, I would be more than happy to, to allow that. You can come on the show and share it. Because folks, the industry's not stupid. And the industry understands when they're being manipulated. And at the end of the day, because the numbers don't lie, because the numbers are unemotionally, the numbers will prove out. And the fantasies won't. Just some things to think about, my friends, and I'll see you in about a week. And everybody watching me knows this. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo.